do. Oh, well, that's on purpose. It's like a sign. I don't know. No, it's no, a gang there thing. It's better. It's a knitting gang thing. <laughs> it's the knitting gang. <laughs> yeah, I woke up with a like a excruciatingly bad um, he uh, headache. Did you have coffee almost a hangover? <laughs> I did didn't even drink. Did you have coffee yesterday? I did. I did. It kind of started last night. I don't know. I had a big glass of water, and I'm like, oh. why do I have a bad headache now? And well, then, maybe you just didn't have enough water yesterday. Period. I don't know, but it was. Mm, I haven't had a headache sorry. like that in a long time. But. Maybe it's hormones. Maybe you're pregnant. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Mm. Good morning. So <laughs> hopefully you must be able to hear us. So that's awesome. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so okay. I'm Sue. And I'm Linda. And it is Tuesday morning at the Yarn Bar in Billings, Montana. Mm -hmm. yep. Yay. Yay. Yay, confetti. Yeah. Um, what did what, what you guys do last night? Oh, well, I went home. I went for a walk. I went home. I knew that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> After I went home, I went for a walk. Well, I prepped. Okay, so pie day is Thursday. Oh, right. 3.14. Are, are you making a pie? Well, no, but I made a taco pie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you can't bring that on Thursday, probably. No, no I'm not going to We might that. have pie on Thursday. We might if we get our act together. Yep. Mm-hmm. We might. I doubt we're we going to be we making might. them ourselves. So. No, we're not. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's pie day. And I was thinking, I, I went home and I prepped this taco pie thing that, um, I don't know, I don't think it's like a brand new invention. But I was no. when I was getting my hair cut last week, I was sitting and listening to the gal who was after me, and I was waiting. Anyway, she was talk. they were talking about recipes, and so the one lady said, you know, oh, I don't do tacos anymore. She said, I just do a taco pie because... There's, it just is more contained. Is you know, it sort of many. like lasagna, but tacos? I just used, so I was listening. I'm like, oh, I'm going to try that. So I just used two, tor I used a bottom tortilla, refried beans, the meat. In my case, it was meat. <laughs> <laughs> Not meat. Um, plant-based meat. Um, plant, <laughs> plant-based protein. Uh, tacos, you know, and then I added cheese and then I put one more layer of tortilla. I'm not sure how many oh, tortilla okay. layers you're supposed to do. Well, I did. And then I put cheese on the, like cheese in, cheese on top and it was good. I did see like after you talked to me about that, I did mm -hmm. see a recipe but it has like it was in a pie almost plate. like pie a shell. It was pie almost plate. like a seven layer dip but oh, yeah. in between each layer mm -hmm. was a tortilla mm -hmm. which I thought was sounded pretty yeah, good too. It was, I thought it was pretty good. Um, so anyway, yeah, lots of different pie options. You can have savory, you can have pot pie, you can have fruit pies, cream pies, shrimp pies. pies. No. I'm just thinking Forrest Gump when you say no. shrimp gumbo. Yeah, no, not, no, <laughs> just pie. So celebrate on Thursday the 14th. In some fashion, pie, <laughs> any pie you want. Mm -hmm. a, we call quiche cheese pie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how we used to yeah. call it with the kids. Yeah. Anyway, that so that's that was that. And then I put that in the oven, went for a walk. It was, you know, time changed, so it was lighter and yep. pretty nice out. It's it's good to get outside. It really is good to get outside. It we, puts you in a we and had I was, the, yeah. We we had the kids for just I mean, we've got the kids because they live in our house right now, but um Alice and Zach had to go do some stuff, some house stuff or something. They did close on their house that they were selling mm. uh, yesterday so they're morning. officially homeless they they are and i i have a feeling they might be homeless a little longer than they anticipated and i will go into that later because that's a lot oh really? but um mm. but anyway the kids went down like a dream so we were pretty much available oh they went to bed I they gotcha. went to down bed like pretty quickly like, yes okay. yep i'm oh. glad since i had a headache but Oh, well, the time change is, I think, hard for kids. Yeah. Because they're... They went out, like, Silas, like, they, they're they saying, I need a nap. Oh, really? <laughs> so, That's yeah. funny. Um, I, I, you know what, as I was, like, I went for my walk, you know, you just, I, I don't listen to anything anymore because I kind of like, I'm just, a, I don't know, I just like to be more aware right. of my surroundings. So, um, in the past, I would walk and listen to a podcast or something, not doing that. So, anyway coming up a street and there was this lady I think she might have been cleaning a house that was for sale so it was kind of you know it was like seven o'clock she was uh -huh. just getting getting done she was putting her stuff in her car and she just started randomly chatting oh and you know what which wouldn't have happened if you had a headset in you probably would have just it wouldn't kept going. and it doesn't happen when you sit in front of a screen all day I, I never totally leave your house agree. 
I never step foot outside. Like go outside. Yeah, I, I totally. It changes agree. your perspective, and just that small interaction with a total stranger. We talked about the weather, of course, but it was. Yeah, I think I felt like I don't know, just. Yeah, it, I I agree with and that. And that's another thing about when we, when we're you know because we're downtown, so when we get out and walk to the bank or something, like just a smile to a stranger on the street, it's it's cool. Yeah, I, I yeah I think um, Warm and if fuzzy. you've been holding up in your house at all, just come out because come it's out. good for you. It is. Yeah. Whether I, you just I get remember outside or seeing come to the yarn bar. And I was on TV, but sorry. Anyway, it was a kind of like a commercial or like a public PSA. Mm, mm -hmm. And it was this guy that was walking around and staring at his phone for directions, mm -hmm. like using GPS. Mm -hmm. And he walked by this woman. And then in another scenario, he wasn't looking at his phone. He asked her for directions. They met and they got, fell in love and got married. Whoa! I mean, that's the thing. It's like when your head <laughs> is down, you're not seeing people. Plus, it's bad for you're your posture. You're missing friends and potential Just connections. Mates. Yeah, yeah. Connections. So, yeah. Totally Community. So. Greetings Unity. from Poplar. Hi, Walter. Hi. Glad you can join us. Yeah, that is um, cool. I mean, yeah. Of course, as we're bashing the screens, it's like, I know, here we are. Staring in a screen. Why do you all to watch us? Yeah. So well, anyway, yeah, goofy. We appreciate it. We really do. Yeah. So, um, what are you working on? I okay. So I have this weird habit. It's all I'll kind of do like a project for the shop, mm -hmm. and then I either am like kind of. It's not something I would maybe normally choose. Whatever. But I would do it, and then I just get a bug. I see one thing. I'm like, that's it. I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. And I did it. And I am making this cute little sweater. It's called Mini Dotty. I've been calling it Little Dotty, I realize. But it's the Mini Dotty, and it, it is a Kate Oates pattern. It's cute. And I am making it's so it for cute. a child that looks very similar to that one. Um, and this is my choices, my color cute. choices. I think it's really fun. So this is there you go. There's the little baby yep, ribbing. Yep. Super uh -huh, cute. Yeah. And so I'm actually using a skein of circus tonic. Yay. Um, and this is the one she gifted us. And Pretty. then but it's very similar to one we have mm -hmm. actually. And then I'm using some Lang um, Surrey alpaca nice. for the dots. The dots. And so I really, it's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't excuse my needles. I am using, what are those? okay, I don't even know what kind they are. Maybe you guys will recognize wow. these kind of needles. They're like they a translucent like a stick. plastic. <laughs> they kind of do. Don't put it near a glue gun. Um, <laughs> But I needed a number three 24 inch, and I realized I did not have it. I mean, I had it, but I didn't have like an Addy or something, and yeah. I was desperate to keep moving because, you know, I you get yeah. excited, you want to keep going. So you just the nice that. thing is, is look, they're very yeah, flexible. <laughs> you don't have to worry about breaking keep these things. away from a hot car. Yeah, here's, like that would melt here's the minute. inside of it. I did have a boo-boo. That's why there's a little loner right here. Mm, that's okay. I forgot to do something. But that's it, okay. But yeah, it's a fun pattern. It's a fun little stitch. Does she have an adult version of Dottie? Yes, mm -hmm. she does, and that probably came out first. Yeah. Um, yeah, the stitch itself is you do, you knit one in that color on one row, and then when you come on to the next row, you um, do like a little, well, a little Dottie, a little, a little ditty. Is it a bobble? It's not a bobble. Oh, no, it's, a it's not. But it works out really nice. It's and, cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At first, I thought I was gonna mind. See, you can kind of see some of the pink fuzzy in between. Well, you have to pick like yeah. Yeah, because they're floats. catching. But I, I kind of like it. I think it's gonna be softer for Elise to wear. Mm -hmm. So if she gets it. <laughs> oh, we'll see. That's cute. If she wants to wear it. Yeah. What about you? What are you working on? Uh, well, one of the things I'm working on is still the little blankie. So well, it's uh -oh. so cute. I love that little. Um, it's like a little dolly blanket right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. So still growing. Um, sweet shop blanket. 
This is one of our blanket ideas for the Happy Scrappy Along, which will be starting officially next Monday. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No. First day of spring. Yes. It's the 20. Maybe not next week. 19th. Maybe the following week. It's 19th. So I don't know when it is. That is next week. It's I on think. our calendar. Someone brand new is joining us. Hi. Named, um, Melody Hagenis. Thank oh, you hi. so much Thanks for, for hanging us. out with us. Um, so and hello, Alyssa. Yay. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, um, I like, I still like it. Um, happy Scrappy Along when it starts. It's bring um, yarn shop quality stash that you are willing to share. Fingering, Fingering or DK. Or DK. Um, grab and go or grab and stay and work on this. I know that mid, like during the day is hard for people who work, who aren't like close to us. I know that yeah. you know, we were talking about that Friday. Um, so you could drop off some stuff and we can like give us a color palette, you know, color thing that you're looking for. We could do that. You know, to be honest, we've only had one official sign up. So this might be a complete like... Well, you might want know. to just do it, but whatever. <laughs> we just want you to come and join us. So, um, so sorry, I'm not getting fresh with you. But anyway, Ooh, um, darn it! <laughs> I just want to give everyone like, <laughs> let's give a little plug to these bagu bags, you guys. Yeah, we have some fun ones. We've I'll, got some. They're kind of sitting here, and I don't know if no one buys them. We're not. We can't keep them. It's silly. Even though we like them, it's like not a good business decision. So, um, bagu bags are. These zipper ones are um, technically packing bags, but we like them for organizing yarn things. They are handy if you are packing anything, if you're like organizing whatever in your house. Have those? They're great. And then we have some photo ones that look like um, And the nylon component of this is definitely non-snaggy for yarn projects, which is very good. Um, yeah, yeah, I think actually um, the packing cubes themselves like this, are really good we also have these zip up ones but um like i think just for storing your each project like mm -hmm. works in progress mm -hmm. you know you may not you might find another project to do mm -hmm. and it's nice to have this mm -hmm. so I, it, I can go you can go right back yeah. to it you know um keeps things dust free looking good on your shelves yeah um, they're pretty i and, pretty cute yeah and i think there's probably quite a few other uses like linen closet stuff or whatever you know well, I mean, and if you they're packing cubes so use them cubes. for your suitcase yeah. so so we do have those um and then just other housekeeping this thursday evening is um our little uh stitch night at the cider mill right and mm -hmm. we would love to see a lot mm -hmm. of you there we actually reserved a little room mm -hmm. So we'll have our own space, and um, they have great food mm -hmm. and great beer and Ciders. great cider. Yeah. So um, yeah, just come and um, if they you're might not socks, have pie, that's pie day. But I don't know, they oh might yeah, have maybe it. they anyway. maybe they'll have apple pie. <clears throat> oh yeah, because apple cider, right? Mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So that's that. And then if you are in uh, six weeks of socks, you are this week is buy one get one 50 percent off for circus tonic and, and perennial um, yeah perennial from kelborn which is really nice so the nice thing about perennial from kelborn is um it is it has alpaca in it it's a really lightweight fingering right it is super wash it's wonderful for baby things kid things right. and doubled up you know it's great. So I know. It, yeah, it's a great yarn. Um, and really there's bright, fun colors. Really close to 500 yards on those mm -hmm. stains. So yeah. So that's that. If you are part of um, the six weeks of socks, and it's never got, too yeah. late to join. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, we've got every week is gonna, a different buy one get one. We have it here. The pattern for the, oh yeah, and you definitely the get socks. the wonderful sock pattern for right. Shannon. And they have. Well, Susan, martini Susan glasses. Susan already knit. Susan McKinley already. Um, she knit, knit a whole her, pair. Knit her pair. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're kidding! Did she bring it in? No, she said she said she wanted to block it. She okay. didn't bring it. Okay, well, yeah. she will. Yeah, she will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's loving that. Yeah, she's that doing good. that. Um, and then also, um, little notes are gonna go bye bye in the shop, so they're twenty five percent off if you are a little notes fan. Yeah, you might want to come mm -hmm. in. Um, we we have a nice. Nice assortment There's right now. There's cute unicorn one left. Mm, fun. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's housekeeping, right? Right. Anything else? Um, 
Not that I can think of, but you know, I might remember yeah, it in might half an in. hour after we hunt. Right. Hang up. <laughs> Hang up. <laughs> okay. Well, um, um, but, one thing yeah. we are uh, wanting to feature and show you guys today, and we are wearing them, mm -hmm. is Fiber Company, maker of really incredible yarns. Like what I tell everybody is that I've never seen anyone be so thoughtful about how she puts her yarns together. And we carry a couple of uh, yarns from her end make line, which is a great line if you're just new to knitting or been knitting for a mm -hmm. while, but it's a great yarn. And this is, she has a DK and a super bulky and uh, we carry both of those, but this is the DK and it is got wool, <clears throat> alpaca, alpaca, and linen and that is what you're seeing mm -hmm. um this beautiful you can see the little mm -hmm. linen fibers in there it is a excellent yarn and i mean it feels so soft mm -hmm. just when you touch it but then when we got all of these samples i was just really amazed at how they're just so mm -hmm. soft next to your skin and they drape so nicely. I mean, it's still, and but they're not heavy. Mm -hmm. um, it's a yummy yarn. And it has, I mean, because of that linen, it, mm -hmm. from far away, the fabric looks mm -hmm. really nice. I personally think that um, and make DK would be a wonderful option for like the solid part in this blanket. Um, I. I just, I don't know, I just have a feeling with that linen, it makes it, it gives it just a little bit of strength, I think, that, you know, you don't get from um, wool fibers. Well, when I, I kind of was reading a little bit how they were describing it, and they actually described it as adding a soft linen to, hmm. to this beautiful alpaca and wool. I mean, it's going to get softer and softer, just like any linen. So, linen does. Yeah. I think that's nice. And... The fiber company for this line has gone out of their way to just say, you know, front and center, 100% um, natural, sustainable fibers from renewable sources, which, you know, all of the, most of the yarns that we carry are sustainable, right. renewable, blah, blah, blah. But fiber company is, you know, reminding the consumer that, right, that it is that, you know, that is part of the, part of the deal. All of us as makers with yarn, you know, if we're choosing renewable, natural fibers and not plastic, <laughs> it's a good thing. Right. So um, we actually got a question from Melody, and it's about our event at the Cider Mill. Oh. It's the last chance Cider Mill. It's on Montana Avenue. It's Thursday, and it's really about 535 45 so mm -hmm. we'd love to have we'll, you there yeah Melody. we'll close up the shop and head right over yep um just say if we're not there uh i think she she's like well i need a name not just the business so it's under sue on the yarn bar okay um just anyway all right okay so um yeah so and make we asked for the dk weight we asked for a trunk show and they obliged we have it I think until early April. Well, I'm gonna just show you the sweater I'm That's making. That's so cute. I actually really I love and it. And it feels so nice, mm -hmm. really. This is called the All Stripes Sweater. And um, it's adorable. Uh, it's really fun. So you can use a variety of colors. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, it looks like the front is reverse stockinette because it's. You can see the pearl stitches, but it might it's be the one of those. Stitches. I I like it. You could on probably this side. reversible, yeah, yeah. So you can see the little. I like the, the way little those, dots. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty mm -hmm. fun. It's darling. Um, yeah. So that and there's a whole bunch of colors. A really oh, beautiful right. rainbow. And we'll colors. definitely show you. Um, I don't know. Here, I'm gonna move this. Okay. Thing. Can you see the beautiful know. rainbow? Here. Yeah, look at that. You can. Mm, well, let's yeah, see. it's a gorgeous rainbow of color. Um, so that's another fun thing about the fiber company yarns is their color, um, palette. And then the Anne make line they designed or they, they, you know, their thought was that it would appeal to maybe, um, maybe a younger demographic. I'm not so sure that, I mean, cause I like it. I'm not really part of that young demographic. <laughs> okay. So, but this particular mm. scarf is called Gridland, and this is out of beautiful and make 
soft love. <laughs> and seriously, that's, that's the it's... name of the color. The color soft is soft love. love. The so, yarn is and, and make. make. So and make soft love. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> we just been waiting for so, to say that we made uh, Verna's husband blush when we, we said, said that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Verna was laughing. And she's like, I've never seen you turn red. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. But look at how, so I think that this soft love color would be so pretty. Yeah, I think it's just waiting to be The white in there. in there. No, the oh, white. Oh, oh, like the I see as the main color, mm -hmm, right? For that blanket. Okay. I mean, that's, but I don't, I mean, I'm not, look, I'm not switching gears because I right. love this white too. But I just think that that as a, as a neutral. Yeah. And, is really, um, so is another really version really of that same Oh, they use um, three yeah, colors. Yeah, they use three colors, and How I cool love is that? that too. That's awesome. I know. I really yeah. like it. So one color, or three, or two, mm -hmm. or four. I feel like the grid will help you. Um, yeah, it'll be easy to switch your colors. But mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I mean, I've said it before. I really love to wear scarves, mm -hmm. but I'm not really in love with knitting a scarf because you have to knit it so long. I know. To get it to the length that you really, it makes it usable. I so. think, I feel like this one, um, maybe if you do a gradient, it might make, I mean, scarves for me, it seems like they, they do kind of go on and on, but then when they're done, they are Well, a uh, one like this, yummy. though, would be super easy. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a, not a difficult pattern. No. Let's see what it looks like from this side. Mm-hmm. It's not truly reversible. Definitely. It's not reversible, but, it's nice. but it looks nice it in does reverse. Look nice. So yeah, kind of like my sweater. Very nice. Kind of like me. I look good coming and going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So I so we were talking yeah, about we'll mine. Talk about what you're wearing. Okay. This is a gorgeous cardigan. It's called Connections Cardi. It can probably be as long as you want it to be. Oh, I love the back here. Show okay. A little back detail right yeah. here. Nice it's detail. Got a little. I believe this is a new release for this season. Is that the Recharge? No, what's that one called? This is Connections. Connections. The designer is Claire Mountain Manipon. I'm, I don't know if I butchered their, your name, sorry Claire. But anyway, um, so I think, so we've, I, lo I like it. I really like, it's like a kimono, I think. I right. might do the sleeves just a tiny, tiny bit shorter if I were to make would, it would be easy to do although yeah. it's shaped in here well it's not I think, just a regular but seven. it's Pete yeah. yeah I mean I I I'd have to look at the pattern but I think um it's beautiful maybe with just your top isn't it yeah it's it's a beautiful cardigan it's really nice to wear so um that is that one we don't have any pictures of other well, options I did but look it's but beautiful. they didn't okay this is new for this season spring summer 2024 um, okay let's look at the blue one over here okay this one let me just get it let's get her in let's here bring her over here okay she I'll looks put her good on my lap good color make sure you see the little oh, details on the mm -hmm. neckline this one's nice yoked top down pearls of wisdom mm -hmm. she's Little my pearls she's my new bestie she looks good yep um, and that color is like incredible what is that color called it's called wink oh yeah wink um i like their color names too and yeah, the other I thing about their patterns oh here is a um a different version a version yeah. like this uh -huh. Where you I love can, that too. Yeah, you know, define those pearl bumps with your little stripes. That's super cute. Yeah, I think that would that would be fun. Mm -hmm. I think I would like that better. I think me, I might too. Moi. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so that is um. What's it called again? Pearl, pearls of wisdom. Pearls of wisdom. Cute. Yeah. Um. And again, if you are a first sweater knitter, you could totally do this. I love this this kind of yoke where it's not like a raglan. You're just doing mm -hmm. decreases, which is what's happening in my you dots. Mean increases. Sorry, yeah. Okay. In within the pattern, so uh -huh. it's a series of that, which is what's happening in my little dotty sweater. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it a true yoked it cardigan, top down seamless yep. design. Mm -hmm. It's very very yeah, nice. I love it. Okay. All right. Next. Next. Let me work this way. 
You've got stripes over there. Oh, here, let me take she, this. Okay, she needs to come over here. Will you see her? Do you see her? Oh, yeah, I see her. Okay, wait, what, she looks what's, crooked. What's this one? I don't, here's the tag. Uh, this one is called Wanter Lust Yoke Top. Wanter Lust. Not Wander. Not Wander. Unlo oh, I don't think that's unless a there's a misspelling. Wanter Lust by Dario Tubiana. I think she does quite a few designs for um, um, Fiber I noticed that most of the names for all of these sweaters are like one's Recharge, one's, they're just like. Uh -huh. They're just I mean, I think they're putting, again, they put quite a bit of thought into yeah. the color palette, the There's price the point. For the they season. want it to be attractive to, again, maybe a newer knitter. I do think um, that's a cute little sweater. It's darling. I feel like that would be a cute style for you. Mm -hmm. So, and mm -hmm. also we will do our um, shirties starting in May. So this totally yeah. would be a fun this one would be really cute. to do for shirties. Um, lots of great color combos. Oh, imagine. Mm -hmm. I just can't even imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like all of those right there would be cute. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure if they can see the green one. Do we I need to pull her over? I don't know if she's... Maybe just sorry, take her this off. Is not... Sorry, guys. Um, maybe just take the go. thing off the dress. Okay. okay. This green one that we're going to show you is another nice option for shirties. Yeah. A nice summer top. Or vest. It's called Dreamy Drift Tea. Cute. So easy peasy, pumpkin squeezy. And the color that they used for the sample is Spearmint. Mm -hmm. Nice green. Yeah, some nice stitch work in here. I'm trying to figure out what this one is. Oh, must be like a wrap and drop. This one right that's here. That's a fun, I love doing that's that. That's a, like, <laughs> when I'm you pretty do sure that. that's. Yeah, Yarn you, over, yeah, and then uh -huh. you drop it. That's the next super row, fun. yeah, it's pretty fun. It's like woo, fast. I know, but imagine how many stitches you probably got on that needle. Like it looks like you have a lot of stitches. When well, you're... it's kind of like boxy Cancun. Yes, that, it is. Yeah, not part of that. Yep. Yeah, that's a little a more cute shaping. One. This yep. again is a new one for the season, for this season. Yeah, new mm -hmm. design. Okay, fun. All right, so next, I will grab this girl. Okay. Um, she has two things that we can talk about. Um, oh yeah, and the waffle stitch is really showing up well in the light. Good job, us. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry so you don't have to stare at my butt oh, for too okay. long. Oh, okay. This one is the Stylet Eyelet Shawl. Oh, Cute. Great. Quick. How many balls does it take? I think just I two. Think three. What? You said three. I said two. Oh, mm -hmm. it does take three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, three balls. I bet you don't use all three in that, but anyway. I bet this is exactly the same one. They just use different... They use leftovers. Different colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually colors, some of them from mm -hmm. this vest. Or you know, I guess I wouldn't, like, look at the shelf and put those colors together, but I think it actually looks pretty good. I will say, I think that most of the time when you... Oh, sorry, I'm not in the picture. Um, <laughs> most of the time, like, it may not look right outside, like, when you just got the ball sitting there. Mm -hmm. But once you put it in there, it's like, huh, then they work. always seems to make sense. This, I think that... Um, pale, that pale blue on the edge is kind of fun. Yeah, and I, I think this is so, unexpected. Style it, eyelet, it's but, yeah. called. Yeah, mm -hmm. cute. Mm -hmm. This is, I mean, I again, when we got this one, I'm like, eh. but it's cute. On. These are cute again, cute to wear, um, nice to have, great, really great gifts. I'll wear it. Okay, you wear that. Okay, um, okay and that color is the same as this. Yeah, it's okay. called um, lit, lit. Oh, right, like a lit fire. Okay. This one on the mannequin is the recharge sweater, and the color is Surfs Up. And I, you can see that cool yeah. waffle stitch. Can you see that? And you doesn't can... this look just cozy, comfy? Well, we were wearing it. Oh, we my goodness. We both were wearing it yesterday. Mm -hmm. We did. It is it is cozy, comfy. It's kind of cool. So Kind of um, like a sweatshirt. It's like the second size in, but, I mean, we both wore it. Mm -hmm. It was roomier on Sue. But it wasn't tight on me. And either. doesn't have those super skinny yeah. arms. It's yeah. just comfy. Yeah. And the waffle stitch, um, it it's nice. It's I think it adds just a nice little dimension there. 
Yeah, and I mean, I could picture me sitting around knitting mm -hmm. in a knitted sweater. I think um, there's a lot of people who would like this. Alice is really... Oh, sorry. At the bottom, there's some detail. Jeez. Scream, <laughs> scream about it, why don't you? Okay. okay. Yeah. That's fun. Um, so Alice has been um, living in my house and privy to all of my hand knits. And I think she's kind of surprised about all this. She's like, every morning, it's like, did you make that sweater? I'm like, mm, no. yep. <laughs> yep. You just don't see me wearing them all the time. Right. You guys, yeah. She vowed to finish her blanket that she's okay. been knitting. Yeah, she should. Okay, so she can go back here. Yep. Fun. All and right. then there's a cute hat. Yep. This is the Warm and Easy Hat by Kate Atherley. She's a great designer. Um, again, warm, easy. I like the color blocking. And how cute is the pom-pom with scraps? I know. That's fun. And really, they, mm -hmm. maybe they made that after they did the little t-shirt. Maybe. I love it. It's the exact same colors. It, it look, yeah, it looks like a great little hat pattern. Okay. This one's called the Rewind party so little cute pockets. pockets i know and it's a cute oh sorry i want to button her oh this okay. is bothering me <laughs> what color is this it's pretty um that one is called it's right there oh spill the tea i know i thought that was funny mm -hmm. spill the tea okay well right. but so i asked carrie my daughter about uh -huh. that she's like here's the tea so mm -hmm. it's like the tea leaves or right. the, the or information like spill the, spill the tea, give me the tea. It's like the tea, huh. the info. Okay, now um, we're becoming in the know. <laughs> yeah, and then we um, got the tea. Plus, this is like the tea, kind of the color of some teas. Right. So there's like a double entendre. Spill there. the tea. Spill the spill the beans. Right. I wonder what the tea it must the be like. Tea, tea like means tea, something. Tea leaves. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Like you reading, I reading don't know. the leaves. <laughs> I don't know. We pretend like we we're are cool we're just and we know all that, that stuff. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. All right. So, what? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's cool fun too. Color block version, and actually on the back, which you can't see on the back of the sweater, it's a dark blue. It's really cute. Oh yeah, that is. Cute. I totally love that. So this sweater must be pieced. Um, well, there's a seam right here. And there's a, not a seam but right here. But you could do an inter intarsia situation. Huh. Wait, there's Interesting. not a seam over here. I, well, but if you did it like that, you you could do an intarsia so situation. So it's not pieced. Who designed this? Let's see. Uh, oh, Holly Yao. I bet there's some intarsia in that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Holly Yao. Do you guys remember we oh, had yeah. Holly Yao teach when... It was sort of in the pandemic era, well, right after we moved here, right? Well, it was also when we here, were moving. Right? We weren't open oh, here. We right. were closed there. We had this little virtual workshop, and we almost oh. forgot to R sign in right. with Holly. <laughs> I think I don't think it was for the actual class, but it was for a... Or was it for the actual class? <laughs> anyway, we didn't. I mean, we were... Oh, we... Yeah, anyway. She probably thought we were loony. <laughs> and maybe she still does. Um, even just a little accent pocket color would Wouldn't be cute here. Wouldn't that be here. cute? Just Wouldn't like that be even, fun? Even here or inside the pocket? Or, and then, yeah, and then the um, you could pick up and do contrasty for the ribbing here. That's the fun thing about making your own. Look you how we're totally like just fondling these mannequins. These mannequins like feel so, so good. Not <laughs> they were just a little squishier yeah <laughs> that'd be a good hug i know but anyway you know that's a plus on being a little squishy yourself <laughs> so like because i'll had, tell that to my i husband. had my <laughs> headache this morning and it was bad and i had to get up and um because it was worse <sighs> when i was lying down yeah. and jasper came in and oh, he's kind of squishy <laughs> in a good way he's not overly squishy but I just stood there and I'm like against his chest that's my son and I just said 
I just need to fall asleep standing up. <laughs> it's like, sorry, funny. mom, gotta go to work. Sorry, going to work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that is, um, that's the trunk show. And we, again, we've got it through. Well, let's show some colors. Early um, April, so about a month. You um, have plenty of choices. There's no way to do it justice on a screen. Yep. So mm -hmm. if you are local, you really, really should come in and see for yourself how amazing it is. Um, you know, honestly, I already, I already showed this one. Well, not up close. Oh, are we showing all of it? We're showing them oh, up okay. close. I love our little box. I know, aren't they pretty? Yeah, so this is, um, I think we're just, we are out, totally out of one color. Our friend Verna did buy enough to do that scarf for her husband. Mm -hmm. She did not choose soft love. Guess or what? Or he did not choose yeah. that one. Guess what color this is? White. Betty White. Ah, cute. She's a treasure. Um, okay, so anyway, that's the scoop. That's the tea on... Um, yep. Spill on it. The and make DK weight trunk show that we have right here at the shop. Um, so come see so, it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. So thanks for hanging out, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. So long. Farewell. Here's my finger.